In this segment, we'll be covering how to set up a new project. To create a new project, select File, New Project. From the list of templates, let's choose Empty. Click OK. Now we need to select the, the directory where we're going to store the project files. Or we can create a new directory for this. It is a good idea to create a separate folder for each project. I'm going to create my project folder on Drive D, which is my dedicated hard drive for Cubase projects on this computer. As I mentioned earlier, a dedicated hard drive is not a must, but it is a very good practice. I'm going to name my project folder New Project. Then click OK and OK. Cubase created the directory New Project and a subfolder inside it called Audio. Now we're going to name our project and save it. Select File, Save, or Save As. Name your project, New Song, for example. Then click Save. You can also create your own custom template from your current project. Select File, Save as Template, name it appropriately, and then click OK. Next time you open a new project, you can choose this template from the template list. A project template can contain audio and MIDI files, just like a regular project. If it isn't your intention to have these files as part of your template, make sure you remove them from your tracks and from the pool before you save the project as a template. Now let's examine how Cubase organizes project folders. We already know about the audio folder. Cubase will create a few more folders, edits, freeze, and Im images. The audio folder, of course, contains the project audio files. The edits folder contains the audio files created by offline editing and processing. The freeze folder contains audio files created by tracks and the VSTI freeze function. The image folder contains waveform images for audio files in the project. And the project file itself contains MIDI data, hardware information, settings, VSTI instrument settings, links to media files inside and outside the project folder, etc., etc. If you work with video files and you want to store your files in the project folder, you have to do this manually. Now we're going to check our project settings. Select Project, Project Setup. The Start field allows you to offset the start time of your project. You can enter a value in hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. The latter is particularly useful for video projects. Let's leave it at the default setting for now.